After exploring the most beautiful places in order to say, we headed to the Queen of the Dolomites, Cortina d'Ampezzo. It took us about two hours and a few spectacular roads with amazing views. Cortina d'Ampezzo sits in the heart of the Dolomites. It is considered as one of the most famous mountain locations in the world. Because of the bad weather conditions, we had to spend our first day in Cortina in a hotel room, where we got a good rest, preparing for the next morning hike to Trezima de la Vereda. Hi guys, hope you're doing well. Good morning! We just got to the beginning of Trail 101 to Trezima, and we're pretty excited because the mist is going down, and this is the view we can see already. Beautiful. <laughs> it's beautiful, it's a little scary, but we're very excited to go upper and see something more. So follow us on the trail and talk to you later. After a short hike, we were able to reach the first viewpoint on famous Tretima. We are accompanied by some mountain cows. Ah, let's fix this one. Mountain bulls. <laughs> this mountain is full of bulls and it's pretty scary. Even they are friendly, but it's pretty scary to walk among them. at Tretima can take about four hours to go around but it can easily become a one-day hike as there are so many places to stay to rest take photos enjoy refugios are very well equipped you can get some cakes you can get sweets you can get basically whatever you want so you're gonna have a nice rest while hiking and the road isn't too difficult it's mostly flat the the difference in height is about 100 meters, so you can go easily even with pads. How's the cake? It's perfect. Approved. Hi, for sure you know those famous photos from Instagram where you uh, can see Tretsima Mountains, three peaks from the caves. So here are the caves where everybody's making those cool photos. And it's right next to the refugio, which is on the top here. So whenever you come in there and you're climbing slightly up, you can see the caves and you can make those photos. Today we came and there was a huge mist, so we, came, we had like 10 minutes window to make photos and we made it right in time because later you couldn't see the Three Peak Mountains and I think we were pretty lucky. Just opposite Refugio Alonso. You can see it up there. And anyway, another short hike. How are you? What do you think? I don't know why. I'm a little bit tired as we already made 20 kilometers today. And uh, I'm a little bit scared because I heard that this place is very scary and to make photos there you have to be very brave, which I'm not. So I hope I'll make it. <laughs> We're soon gonna get to the top. That's the way, and we'll let you know how it is. Cadini de Messerina is just at the back side of the Trezima de la Vereda. 
The views will remind you of the scenes from the famous Lord of the Rings, like the literal Mordor. It isn't the safest place in Dolomites, a bit scary, but the view is worth it all. Next day, weather didn't disappoint us. We started our morning with visiting Lago de Bryce. Good morning, guys! Today we're in Lago de Bryce. This is a very famous lake with awesome views, as you can see over here. We heard that here there are many people all the time. But unfortunately, yesterday we were very tired after a super long hike and we decided to sleep a little bit longer. So we were worrying that if we're gonna come late, it's gonna be too crowded. So we came here at 8 in the morning and to our surprise it was not crowded at all, just few people. Of course now it's getting more and more people, but most of them they're staying at the beginning of the path next to the hut, just to take this um, famous angle photo. And not too many people are going around, so we hope to have some more privacy going around the lake and see some beautiful spots over there. Lago de Bryce is one of the most photographed lakes in the world. Yes, it's often overcrowded, but it isn't overrated, and it's definitely worth visiting. After a short hike around Lago de Bryce, we went to famous Five Towers Cinquatori. We chose to walk up to Cinquatori and to look around the area. It was a short hike, but it was lovely and absolutely worth doing. Hi guys! After yesterday's hike, today we didn't have an easy start of the day. We needed some rest. so. We started slowly, having breakfast at 7 and going straight to Lago de Braes. And right after lunch, we decided to go to another famous place in nearby Dolomites, Cinque Torri, famous for its five towers. Um, yeah, now we're here. We did a hike around Cinque Torri and we're heading down. Actually, now we're still going up, but we're going back to the starting point. It's past 7 p.m. It's already getting dark and we're on our way back to the car. Since last vlog, we changed our minds. We decided to go up the hill instead of go back. And I even went to check how does the local Via Ferrata look like and I have to tell you that Via Ferrata Oronzo looks quite scary. I did just part of it and it was quite enough. To be honest I couldn't stay longer because it was getting dark and the up road was quite difficult and I would have major difficulties of going down at dark. But anyway, uh, it's still nice, sun is setting we did some beautiful photos over there at Cinque Torri. Now we about a kilometer away from our car with a lot, a lot, a lot of positive energy inside us. Is that right? Yes, I enjoyed the hike. While Carol was on the Ferrata, I was taking some photos, enjoying the beautiful views and hoping that he will not die there. <laughs> Okay, that's how the last day in Dolomites ends for us. And I'm looking forward to see you guys in Slovenia.